What's going on guys? My name is Chris Callum. If you're new here, I do military fitness and we're doing 75 hard. But I just traveled to Los Angeles to take on an Olympic runner named Nick Simmons at the Battle Bunker course hosted by Austin Alexander. It was an epic battle, but I want to know who do you all think won? Nick Simmons or myself? Let me know down in the comments. Also, would you all be interested in me challenging Nick to the Army Combat Fitness Test? If we can get enough likes, I might be able to fly him out to Florida to take it on on my home turf. All right, so this trip was exciting, but I'm also doing 75 hard, and this challenge requires crazy discipline. So I wasn't able to partake in some delicious foods, but trips like these spark a new passion for content creation. And I want to leave you all with some advice, especially if you're on your own social media path or straying from the normal path create something of your own. If y'all are trying to break the mold of what everyone else is doing and chase a dream of doing something out of the norm, then I want to give you some advice and some insight on my journey and hopes to inspire you to take that leap of faith. First things first, y'all need to surround yourself with like-minded people. And even if it isn't like-minded people, be surrounded by people who support you on your journey. This is gonna be key to your success and motivation. That's why this trip was so rejuvenating for me. Although I have the support to chase my goals and dreams, I just don't have a team with me here in Florida doing the same things that I enjoy doing, which sometimes leads to doubt. Being able to fly out to LA and connect and socialize with people doing big things in the social media space and inspiring other people, it was a breath of fresh air. It was the lift that I needed. You're probably sitting there like, well, that's easier said than done. And I completely agree with you because I spent the first two years creating content with no one above me to guide me or push me, or did I? What I did have was YouTube University, and I had people that I looked up to on social media that inspired me weekly to create and share my journey, just like you do. So, I've seen many videos of people saying, surround yourself with like-minded people, and I've always questioned, how do you find these people? Because it's not easy. But as I reflect, we all have access to the internet, a tool provided to us to either use to consume or we can use to create and inspire. Now for myself, I didn't meet Austin until being over two years into creating content. A friend reached out to him and said, hey, I think you guys should meet up. You guys might be good friends. So we connected over DMs and I was actually out in LA for one weekend and I shot him a message. I said, hey, do you wanna meet up? I literally rented a car for four hours and drove out to him on his lunch break. We chatted for a good hour. But I took the step to reach out to him and try to make that connection. I didn't ask anything of him either, besides advice. But I didn't show up and ask, what can you do for me? And that's the issue with most people reaching out to people these days is they always ask, what can you do for me? And that's the wrong mentality. You need to create a connection, provide value, and you should never expect anything in return. This turned into a friendship, and it's allowed me the opportunity to go out and shoot a few episodes in LA with Austin. And just being friends with him, I'm able to connect with other like-minded individuals, which I'm super thankful for. There isn't anything wrong with a traditional path by any means, but when you're trying to break the mold of what everyone else is doing and create your own thing, it can get lonely. As long as you stay consistent with the content, at some point, you're gonna find your way. And starting out, you're gonna get a lot of judgment, but that's part of the game. Even when you do grow, you're gonna get even more judgment. So my best advice is to create content that will make you proud. Content that's gonna provide value. But I, like many other creators, we're just trying to find our way and see what works. And it comes with a price tag. It comes with a price of putting your life on display to be judged. At first, this was tough, but now I'm thankful for taking those steps to break past my fears and try something different. So don't wait another day to do something you've desired to do for so long. Start today, even if it's just writing down your goals. And with that, March 21st, I'm gonna be doing a live video. I'm gonna give you guys a life update on my flight physical if I'm going to flight school. And I'm also announcing a four week fitness challenge that I have coming up that I want you to join. At the end of the live, I'm gonna be opening it up to a Q&A, and this is gonna be at 6 p.m. Eastern time, so you guys can click this link to add a reminder. And if you guys wanna check out the episode of me versus Nick Simmons on the Battle Bunker course, I've also linked that video below. Y'all can shoot me a text at 617-286-3802 with your questions if you're unable to attend the live, but you have questions you want answered. My name's Chris, I'm a U.S. Army infantryman, 11 Bravo. Chris is caught up, actually, he's right beside Nick. And today I am taking on an Olympic track star. Chris touches the top first, boom. Nick's almost there. 
top coming down. But I don't see any tracks out here, so I think I got a good shot. 